So this is, this is about the F word, and I think you guys know the F word I'm talking about. Okay. My siblings would use it, we'd be driving in the car, and the car would go around a corner, and they would say a very bad word. Okay. They would say, they, and they'd, they'd jam me into the outside of the car, and they would say, centrifugal force. Did your siblings ever do that to you, like jam you to the outside? I'll play Jello. 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 Well, we were a very physics-oriented family, and so we called it centrifugal force. And um, this is the notion, you know, is that, that there's, if you're in a car and you start to go around a corner, there is this magical force that sort of throws all things to the outside of the car. Now, I'm a physicist, and I understand that there is no such thing as the F word, okay? I understand that this is what's going on. So, so, but I did use the F word one day as a young man. Okay, I would never do this again, but, but I was driving along and I had my <clears throat> sunglasses on the, the dashboard. And as I went around a corner, I saw the sunglasses, which were at rest, start to move. I'm getting kind of emotional about this. Okay, the sunglasses started to move. They were at rest, they started to move, they, they picked up speed. Okay, and as I went around the corner, they, they, they like picked up speed. They went up over that little um, thing where the, the speedometer is, right? And unfortunately, the window was open. Yeah? So the next instant, I was here, and my sunglasses were here. And at that moment, I used the F word, okay? And I said that <clears throat> I'm, I'm still choked up after all these years. I said that centrifugal force threw my glasses out the window, yes? Yeah. No. Now, if you were watching this, however, from above, in a helicopter perhaps, there you go, thank you, thank you. Okay. Okay. What would you say about the motion of the sunglasses? Are they really getting flung to the outside? What are they doing? The, the sunglasses go, go straight, the car goes around the corner, right? So the car is gripping the corner and has good traction, sunglasses not so much, right? They go straight, okay? So there really isn't something flinging things. What things do is they just fly off tangentially. Now, as a kid, I deeply did not understand tangential. Yes? So if, like, you're taking a corner and you set something valuable by that, you know you should just do parallel to the Yeah, just drive straight, baby. Keep those sunglasses in the car. Take out whatever you need to. Walls, <laughs> other cars. Yeah, good point. Okay, now, here is another... Thing. As a child, I didn't understand this, and I'm not sure that you guys understand it yet, okay? But I would bicycle. Here's my bicycle. As a child, this is my bicycle. It was a very bad bicycle. I didn't have a frame, right? Okay? Yeah. And I had a seat. I had a seat, and I had a butt, like this, and a head. And I would bicycle on new, newly rolled asphalt. Now if you roll, if you ride your bike on fresh asphalt, you don't get a stripe of mud up your back. What do you get up your back? Asphalt. Asphalt on your back. Does your mom like this? No. Not as much. She says don't drive on the asphalt. Well, I was smarter than that, right? Because I knew, here's what, by the way, what I knew, is that the, that the pieces of tar were flying straight off, because that's what they seem like they should do, right? They fly off radially, yes? They don't, really, do they? They fly off tangentially, but, but I, I assume that the stuff hitting my butt was flying off here, right? And the stuff hitting my back was flying off like that, right? Just kind of hitting me in the back, like that, right? Okay, so all I had to do was just take a piece of cardboard and go like that, and I was safe. So I did that, and I drove on the asphalt road, and did I, did I still get hit? Yep. Yeah, indeed, because this stuff here was flying off there. Really, it's flying off tangentially, right? Like, I w it was amazing how low on my back that asphalt was getting, right? Because I didn't understand that it flies off at the tangent. It doesn't fly off right here, yeah? So that's why the, the fender on your bike goes all the way back, yeah? And it goes forward because why? Because your feet, you want to keep your feet dry, right? So the stuff flying off here, you want to keep that off your feet. And then you also have a fender here, but not so much right here, right? Because this stuff here is going to fly that way, right off there. <laughs> well, in front of you, no, we don't care so much, right? We just want to keep the water off of you, right? <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, get them with your the water, I suppose. You know, you could, okay. Here is um, a cartoon that somebody sent me. The F word, yes. And of course, the F word is centrifugal. Okay. And centrifugal is just the notion that somebody's being flung from the center. This is a, a cartoon. I can't remember what the name of this cartoon is. Does anybody even know? Oh, I know the website. I just can't think of it. They got yeah. Here we go. What is it? It says, uh, how do you like my centrifuge, Mr. Bond? When I throw this lever, you will feel centrifugal force crush every bone in your body. You mean centripetal force. There's no such thing as centrifugal force. A laughable claim, Mr. Bond, perpetuated by overzealous teachers of science. Simply construct Newton's laws in a rotating system, and you will see a centrifugal force term appear as plain as day. Come now, do you really expect me to do, do coordinate substitution of my head while strapped to a centrifuge? No, Mr. Bond. I expect you to die. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Is that funny? I don't know. Especially when he talked like Sean Connery. I tried that, yeah. Oh. The, um, <laughs> so basically, and I'll show you this next time. If it's convenient to use the F word, go for it. Okay? Yeah, yeah? Okay. Well, and I'll show you that. We're actually going to solve problems next time using the F word and not using the F word. So.